All right, welcome everybody to Lab Sessions with the Rye Guy. I am Rye, and I'm going to be extracting some LC today. Uh, this LC is done. Uh, you can see, so you're going to get the level right here. Uh, it's clear at the top. And very cloudy below but having that separation and the clarity on the top is what i'm looking for uh, but it is a dense cloud so i'm gonna be pulling this into syringes and then making a test plate here so that i can make sure it's free of any contaminations can't tell in the broth i mean it looks great don't see anything else growing in there but you just never know it can be hiding so put it on the agar and then it's gonna reveal anything if there's anything else in there so let's get to it um, I also have these handy dandy jars I'm gonna be trying out these are uh, from myco fruits you can find them on Etsy um, this is not yet ready there's a cloud in the bottom still a lot of nutrients in here you can see it's still tinted <clears throat> just get it swirled up and this should be ready sometime soon but i realize i'm limited to the amount of caps i have so i'm only going to be doing 20 so i'm going to do two different varieties i uh, apologize to anybody who's been waiting i have more caps coming this coming tuesday so hold it they will be there soon uh, so we're going to get this sprayed so have alcohol pads just spray myself again. It's been a long day. I'm exhausted, but I need to get this done. So to pull all these, I'm gonna just insert one of these needles and leave it in there. So all these syringes are sterile. So we're gonna get one needle. It's gonna pull all ten. I'm gonna do ten of each. Squirt it back tight and then pull. So, not have any air coming in with it. You can see here, I'm trying to do this effectively in the camera. So once that's there, I remove. The needle and then put the cap on. Caps are all suspended in ISO. So it's just extra. So I'm going to keep these in front of the flow hood. Now, each one I pull out now, I could just attach to the needle that's in there so I don't have to keep jabbing it. get 10 of each variety here and then next Tuesday I'll be able to do um, I think there's one two three the lion's mane is almost ready this is looking really nice you see how clear it is on top and then there's a nice cloud in there that's halfway to two-thirds so definitely by tuesday it'll be ready to go i mean it's ready now this stuff is growing really aggressively too i'm really excited about it i've got one one block fruiting now of that lc and i made a video of an all-in-one kit that i made and then inoculated with that lion's mane culture and then also made a fruiting 
chamber for it, uh, shotgun fruiting chamber with a dish, like a dish drain, dish, uh, <laughs> dish drying rack pad, mat, I don't even know what you call the thing, but it's just a spongy mat and it's going to hold the moisture in the bottom that it's going to provide the moisture for keep the humidity the lion's mane I, I grew it last time with a uh, modified tub with a fan and a fogger connected to it and I just had that thing running because it wanted air but it also wanted it to be like over 90 percent humidity but it also wanted lots of oxygen so that box i had before it worked but i'm excited to see the results from the shotgun fruiting chamber because it's just low tech piece of cake anybody can do it real quick and easy it's a an eight dollar tub and then uh you can get pads like incontinence pads or uh, put perlite in the bottom and that perlite will hold the water oh these are chunky man i actually wish i was the one that was going to be knocking with these but i have so many other projects for it right now. This one was fun though. I it took me months to isolate this one and I'm really happy with it. So whoever ends up with these, you have something magical. And then I'm going to do the test out of the last, because if anything got contaminated in the process here, the last one would be the one that was contaminated. Uh, and that means if it's bad, then I'm going to have to toss all of those. It's just the roll of the dice. This, this culture looks so good, though. There is not one sign that would indicate anything negative but that doesn't mean that it's not there which is why i'm going to test it on agar because i can't with integrity share something with somebody that is not tested so that is absolutely guaranteed with anything i send out so i got two four six seven all right i can do maths really hoping I can get these jars back so I can get some other LCs started. I'm going to have to get more jars now for Tuesday because it's the fastest I can get my caps to free these jars up. Come on. Last but not least, oh. 
back in. Alright. Now I just gotta squeeze and get a drop. Whoever gets this one, you got one drop less than everyone else. I'm excited for this new grafting tape that came too. It's like, keep trying all these different brands. Uh, this one's, oh, it's a little springy, but it sticks. It's nice. No? Nope. Yeah, it's that pull off at the end that's tricky. See, label this guy. Let's see. I don't have to put a lot number because this is the only ones I have going right now. This is cute. I'm gonna clone this guy. Cute little plate pen. Saves me the work of running a whole other generation. Very exciting. And then, got all these sealed baggies. These things are great. Ah, I gotta label all these first. Play, play, play. And, and I'm human. It's been a long day, y'all. <laughs> Disposable uh, needle in each of these as well. Got these guys here. So, folks that have self healing injection ports can inoculate without having to have any other tools necessary. Sometimes these pull out the way. So yeah, this is the gist of the process here. Um, stay tuned. Thank you for everybody that's been supporting the channel and the mission here. Really excited to talk to so many people that are interested in learning how to grow. You know, get all these packed up and ready to be shipped out. Thank you guys. <laughs>